hello everyone welcome to the second part of the video to install the mods and if you are direct if you are coming directly to the second part please go and watch the first part with what first part second part is of no use and here in the last part of the first video i told you how to get this opened this opened and if you go here this is for, this is the thing for which we are doing so much this token now we have to copy this and this one is actually quite large actually it's literally huge and i really mean it but before that let first you have, i told you that we have to create a new file authentication file so before that just create a new text file text file then if i close this file and i'll show you how to do it i will copy all this all this text in the description and copy the text from the description and paste it here here i have written enter your token between this these two semicolons between those you have to enter your token now delete this area delete this area and open the mod installer and from here start copying this and this is huge i will show you how huge it is so please do the whole part don't get carried away because if you don't copy the whole part it will not work then paste it here see i told you it's huge see how long it takes area the token is huge not huge it's extremely huge then leave leave this as it is this last event pool part leave this as it is don't touch it and here also you don't need to touch anything between them you don't have to do anything between them and you also don't need to change this one last date online it will get automatically updated don't you don't need anything now comes a part of id that is your user id you have as you can see my id is here if i go 1588153538 your id will also show here or in the edit menu here in your profile url it will show you and if you are not showing i don't use the default get a new account and use the default name default name will have your id at the end of the name so it will make the things lot more easier then where is the text file here then copy your id here leave language as it is don't need to do anything and here you have to copy your name id and name id you have to copy from your here from from the website browser and this is the name id between the members slash and this is your id name id copy this and paste it here in the name id portion here then comes the profile url http then this profile url go to your browser and open your profile folder here go to your main main folder click on here to go to your main page and click this http.mod.im members and your username should be in the last copy this and paste it here then comes your username username should be same as here 
this is your this is your username and remember the letter should be here if the letter is capital there should be it is capital it is it should be capital here also see d is here capital but in the name id everything should be lower case don't get confused between name id and username name id should you should get from here from your url and username is directly your username obviously i leave this space blank and i'll and you enter your details don't use this one then after doing all this save after doing all this save your file and then rename and then rename it to authentication under what i named it wait authentication dot json here i will show you what you have to name it just name change the name as well as the last syntax it is it is mainly most important part here the authentication dot json till now it is in in the format authentic uh, new name do, new, new name dot something text here as you can see remove the dot text and rename whole part even the dot text to dot json dot json you will get this type of folder this type of file now copy this file straight in here into the mod.io folder in documents my games snow runner base mods mod.io paste it here after pasting it most important steps of this whole video and even the earlier video go to properties and click on read only otherwise every other when you run the game this will turn to null click this make sure it is read only so that the game cannot alter this file then click okay then after creating the mod.io account don't subscribe to any mods don't don't even subscribe to single mod if you are already subscribed to mods go in the profile and unsubscribe from all the mods then open your game and you can directly log go to your mod.io page if you have done everything correctly it will directly go into the mod.io without asking any question but still if you are facing any problem do comment i will try to help and this is working solution i am not doing any clickbait video and i will try to link my discord also so that you can contact me there and if you go and click on the mods first this will show the here more no, no more subscribe then click space and this window will open mod.io page will open then subscribe to the mod you want to install remember some mods have to be installed manually don't subscribe to those mods and then again open and click on f5 to refresh your mod will get listed it will say downloading and then it will start downloading after downloading after finishing download it will say installed but the mod will be in this state it will say off to turn this on before using it and the mods get turned off every time you un log out from the game means every time you turn off the game the mod will get off open the game and turn on all the mods before you go to your profile or else the inside the game orders the mod will not show up and don't even touch the backspace button it will log out from the mod.io and you have to do all the steps again don't even do that please don't even do that and do keep 
a copy of that authentication.json file if something happens you just copy the file and keep it read only and it should work but sometimes there is a problem there is a problem the problem is that it will get downloading because i don't know why mod.io download speed is pathetic it's i have a 300 mbps connection internet connection then also i get, get i was getting 700 kbps so before installing a big mod try to install a small mod like those edit mods don't go to direct mod do some edits like there are some edits called p20 uh, p90 p12 edits something like that go to the edit mods don't directly install the direct don't directly install this extra extra file this truck mods first try to install simple edit mods using this method after you have successfully tried this one and if you are seeing that it is not taking time and downloading is fast then you can subscribe to this all these mods like etra and all those things and download those but if you are facing problem there is a solution the solution is download a vpn connect to the vpn and then open the game file i don't know why this work but if you do that to it the mod will get downloaded in an instant you will get download speeds of upwards of 100 mbps providing that your connection is 100 mbps or more i am using winscribe winscribe vpn it gives 100 g sorry 10 gb of free data per month and no bandwidth cap it will it is extremely good and you have to verify your email for the 10 gb else you will get only get 2 gb to so then connect to the vpn and if you are using any other vpn no tension use that vpn then open the game then the files that were taking extremely long time to download will get downloaded in an instant so that's it this is how i use the mod.io in version 7 and hope this also works for you guys i and don't blame me if it doesn't work i have tried for 3 months and made it work in my system and i'll try to make you make it work in your system also but something may happen or something not so i i will try my best to help you but don't go in in the comments and say not working not working click back click back don't say like that i have tried very hard to make this and excel to make this work and that's it for the video hope this works for you also and thank you